That's a teenage move. Do I see me acting in the future? Hi, Candy. No, not that Candy. Not that Candy. Um, I do see me acting more in the future. I had... I've always told 50 I wanted to participate in some of the things he was working on um, because they come from a perspective that's easy for me to interpret. I guess we had that conversation like maybe three, four years ago. I mean, it's never happened yet, but over time, I'm sure if he comes across something that feels like it's right, then that would be somebody I would want to do something with. And... um you say yes, we're getting impatient with the album. I get it, but there's also no harsher group of critics. Y'all will say hurry up, and Wait, then you'll you say, Y'all will say hurry up, and then you'll say, What is this? Um, this is not what we asked for, this is not what we waited for. So <laughs> I'm trying to get it all the way right before that happens. Okay, I have something to say now. I'm listening. Does anybody who's on this live watch Captain Underpants if they have children? Captain Underpants! Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Listen. Your son loves trenches? Sweet as a piece of pie with a Y. <laughs> P I E. She had yeah, but she had it spelled P Y E. Pretty cool. Will you bring mommy's other phone off the charger in the bedroom? In the bedroom. Mm -hmm. In the bedroom. In the bedroom. Okay. Well, while I'm gone, go say, go answer that question for me. Come on. Bye. Bye. This part of my house look like I'm in a log cabin. I am at home, y'all. I am not out anywhere. Does she like the Captain Underpants books? She's never had them. The books that she typically reads come from the library at her school, and they don't have that there. So she just watches this sometime on, on television, and she was most likely introduced to it. No, I was waiting on you, boo. Okay. I'll create another question. Sis. She brought my other phone for me. Dennis. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me see. I thought you were at a ski lodge. Lorem with Donnie. I, no, this, it's just this area of the house has that type of vibe, which is really cool. Um, Since we're out here, what I wanted when I moved was just like acreage and space. My middle son rides, ride, 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 ride. I ride too. You ride too. What'd I you ride get, my um, What'd you get for Christmas? A goat car. I ride my goat car mostly. You ride the four wheeler really good too. Yeah, that's easy to ride. It's bigger nice. stuff. Are you wearing your chucks and pearls tomorrow? Chucks and pearls, explain. Because I may not know what y'all know. Let me see here. I'm not as up on a lot of um, the information that I very likely probably should be. Um, for instance, I've actually posted somebody and find out more about them when I post them. Like, uh, I had no idea that that was even going on in their space. I'm real big on minding my business, even though I'm in a business where, you know, everybody minds ours. I really don't keep up with what other people got going on. So I miss out. Okay, so the Chucks and Pearls are for Kamala? Nobody told me. Hey, son. Son. Mm -hmm. Rock, rock. Yeah, these rock, teeth, rock. These teeth are out. <clears throat> I pulled it right before school, right? You want to tell them about how I pulled your tooth that morning? Sure. 
So she always say it wasn't ready, and you got away. So one day in school, I told her before school. Yeah, before school, I told her wiggle it. So she did. She washed her hands and wiggled it. Um. <clears throat> then um, she said, "I'm gonna check it," and she. And I was, ah. You said, oh, oh, <laughs> you said it wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> and it's growing back a little bit. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? It's growing back a little bit. It is already peeking through the gum. It's peeking through the gum. So cute with you missing teeth. You like your daddy. Who do I look like? Uh, Nobody? I with like your makeup, you look like me. With what an honor. I look like you with my makeup. Okay. Without your makeup, you look like your dad. Agreed. Because when you have a like makeup, that. you get darker, and I'm not that dark. I'm caramel, and you look you caramel. You caramel, yes, honey. Okay. And you look caramel. <laughs> you look caramel right I'm now. I'm caramel, yes. Okay. But, you're but without my makeup, I look like my daddy. Yeah, your daddy's a little bit lighter, but you're different. Okay. like your dad and me. Okay. I'll take it. Wait. You said um you like my scully. This is um this was part of the boys the boys line of um God's Great. child. Mm -mm, of God's child. <laughs> you were small, so that's what this is. Oh cool. Mm -hmm. What's this? Is this the sun? Mm -mm, look at it again. It's like a halo. So we did a halo. Okay, let me see. We'll take another Answer question. question! Let's answer a question. Right. I'm going to pick it. Okay. Right. When you and... What does it say? When, when you and Mary going to work together on a song. Oh, that would be dope. Oh. Mm -hmm. uh, she could take that one. You're going to let me take it? Thank you, girl. But I don't know when, so... Right. I would say in four weeks. That is not true. Six. Okay, get off my live making up stuff. Yeah. We've never done a song together yet. We've never done it yet. I would love to, though. N no, no one has um, inspired and mentored me more than her. Because um, no matter what I got going on, she going to always, 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 always check on me and um, give me a real perspective. <coughs> Let me see. Answer another question. Okay, let's see. You have a lot of questions to go, so you might want to get started. What? Well, that started, but just, ow. It's for yourself. <laughs> Girl, leave me alone. Am I in a sorority? No. 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 When will me and Gucci do a song together? One of my favorite songs is um, the song that he did for his wife, Keisha. We Ride. It was a dope testament to how he feels about her and how their love and their love story has been. I, I like that one a lot. Yes. Mommy, but I would do another record with him, though. That, I mean, having one doesn't mean you can only have one. Like, I have multiple records with Trina. Trina? Mm hmm Yeah, I have multiple records with her. Now, can we tell Oh, somebody about? said you would be an AKA. So, I don't know if y'all know this, right? Melinda is an AKA. And I used to sing at her college, Tennessee State University, all the time for things that she would be having. And so I watched the process of her pledging. I was there when she got her pearl and they sang the song with their pinkies in the air and all that mm -hmm. stuff. 
Yeah. That's their you thing. You usually do this. No, baby, that's like a pledge of allegiance. No. No. Well, the pledge of allegiance is usually what we do um, at our school. school when we, uh, the, like, the first day. Mm -hmm. We don't do it anymore because it stops. It stops at um, first grade. Got you. So, so we don't do it anymore. You're in the big anymore. leagues now. We, for like, I guess we could say our Pledge of Allegiance is computer time. Gotcha. <laughs> say no more. <laughs> Do Monica times Tiana Taylor. We love Tiana. Huh? Mm -hmm. Her and June and Rue. She bites. She used to bite when she was little. Cut it out. She doesn't have bite. But anymore. it hurt. <laughs> when Junie was little, she used to bite. And I'm talking about bite like a wild animal. <laughs> I was like, Joan, where you get that from? <laughs> but she's a big girl now. Last time y'all were baking cakes. You remember you guys baked the tie dye cake? I know. That was so cute. And actually tasted good. Yeah, Junie a big girl now. She she don't do that no more. She's I have a big listening. girl like this. Mm-hmm. She's a big girl. Like this. How, um, Ow. Would you do a song Kiss yourself. With... Well, now that I know about pearls, I'm going to have to go, up, go upstairs and tell Mama to bring me some. Would I ever do? These are moving kind of things. Rocco and I, you talking about a song? My child or their dad? Monica and Jasmine Sullivan. Do I listen to SZA? Hell yeah. SZA is one of my absolute favorites. Um, she actually got a lot of songs that I'm loving right now. I mean, tons of them. And I love her energy. You know, energy is a big deal for me. There are a lot of talented people that their energy is off. I love hers. Oh, Jasmine Sullivan. You know, Jasmine wrote everything to me. I like we've never, songs. You do, baby? We never, we've never had a chance to um, actually record a record together, but that will be incredible. Jasmine, the way she writes is very indicative of how you feel on the inside. Everything is done with soul and even the way she arranges things. So I would absolutely love, love, love to work with Jasmine again. I may reach out to her tonight. You know, I have not um, reached out. Am I going to be on Family Hustle? I, I am. I am. Me too. You too, girl? Yeah, I want to go. <laughs> I want to go to the beach at Family Hustle. I want to show like a video how we get there, but not the whole thing. Mm -hmm. And like we're playing around me, splashing Mayo, and Mayo splashing me. Oh, and we goodness. have fun. And we swim in the ocean, go surfing. With an ocean, we will have to go out. Um... Make me famous, <laughs> make you famous. Hilarious. Would I collaborate with Yellow Beezy? Hell yeah, I would collaborate with him. Um, we had talked about it a couple times a while back. One of the events here, it was long before the pandemic, but one of the events here we talked about it. So if he sends me a record, then I'll just go in the studio that we sweep and clean on a regular basis and I would just record it make it happen I have always loved your spirit can you share any advice and wisdom on how to move forward after divorce Whoa! after divorce is one day at a time you don't know what you're going to feel day by day you have to wake up and just flat out see what that's going to be see how you're going to feel and, and a big part of it is also, for me, respect is key. 
I try to always keep the respect intact. So we're a good ways outside of it. We split in 2018. Um, that's when I decided to leave, and the divorce was final um, October 24th of 2019. So it's been some time now. The process is a process. But one of the key things also is to keep your space clean. The space clean means that you have to be conscientious of who you keep around as you're healing through it. Like my name was linked to a lot of people, but I wasn't dating anyone. Nobody was touching me. I was in here by myself, still by myself in here. Leah, who sleep with me? What? Who sleep with me? I don't know. Oh, you don't? So will you be going to your own room tonight? Yes. Really? You are? Okay, go get your shower, and then I'll just come up there and kiss you goodnight. But I don't want to get my shower. <laughs> Why? You don't want to get your shower now. Yeah, but I would just come home and get in the bed with my kids. Like, my daughter but would just climb riding. up next to me or, you know, stuff like that. So, it, it's just important that, Why would you, hit you know, me? it's just important that you do what you got to do in the process. And not have anybody that adds to the pressures of healing around you. Do I have a personal photographer? Yes, yeah, Cindy. Cindy really is like a family member now, though. I don't see her as a photographer or somebody that works for me. We see her as family. Yeah, she's definitely family. We don't see her as someone who goes like this with the camera. <laughs> True. You see her as a friend. Okay, shower time for real. It's ten thirty. Go to the showers. It's ten thirty. Sorry. Uh huh. Put your scarf on first. I saw it over there. Yeah. Or was it in in my room? I don't know. Why was it in my room? Why was your scarf in my room? I don't know. I don't. Oh, know. you don't remember sleeping with me last night? No. Stop talking. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Try it if you want. <laughs> Pass me the remote so I can turn this down because we're going to get into it while you go get your shower. Can I come back Give it down to me. when I get my shower? Yeah, if you go tie your hair up and get in the shower now. I know what to do. Okay. All right. Love you. Thank you, boo. Bye. Bye, baby. I'm talking to Dan. Okay. Bye, mommy. Bye, princess. Ooh, a whole mess, child. A whole mess. Any dating advice? I'm 27 and it's just not happening. Oh, it's just God saving you and preparing you. I'm definitely in no rush and feel absolutely no pressure because there are far fewer good people than there are the other. So, don't stress. Don't stress it. And right now is a really difficult time um, to be meeting people because we don't get out as much. But I think there's there's really some peace and solace to be found in that. And sometimes people start placing all these issues on age. And I believe things happen when they're meant to, no matter the circumstances. And my advice on dating is to take people as they are, not as you think you can make them, not as you think you can correct them or fix them. That would be probably the only thing for me next, you know, I don't, I don't want to have to fix something uh, with, with, with somebody or for somebody. I want to be able to, whoever you are, let me see who that is. And I'll go from there. Cause I'm definitely sure as hell going to be who I am. I'm looking to see what y'all saying. But that's the only dating advice I got. Everything else is trial and error. I just I just think that sometimes we do make we just try to make people something that they may not be equipped to be. Are Shannon and I still friends? For sure. We we she's seven years old. So she will need her parents to be mature adults 
all across the board. And just to be really honest, what I do love about my ex-husband is that he knows that it's everything is about my kids for me. So when I make a decision or when I feel something or when I think something, he really, really respects it and backs me up. And um, I like that a whole lot. I appreciate that a whole lot. What are my thoughts on people that want to date but are very insecure? Yeah, that's that's a tricky one. I, I mean, we live in a world that's really hard on us as people as a whole. But insecurities come from a lot of different things, and I always say that you can't complete a situation if you're not whole. So. I just continue to work on myself so that I don't bring what I've experienced into other things and with, into other people's lives. Mm. What's up, boo? I see you back on the gram. They got your page back. My little cousin in here. <laughs> I ain't ask. Is his at? He's so handsome and he's so funny. Um, he actually is my uncle Larry's grandson, and not everybody know, but a lot of people know my uncle Larry really raised us. He lived in the house with us and the whole nine yards. So his death really did me in and a lot of when people ask what takes so long honestly real life just kept happening to me i was in a hotel for a while um it was a nice one don't get me wrong this isn't a complaint or me whining god is amazing and he keeps covering me so this ain't don't take it the wrong way but real life was happening um my dad's sister died first um well two months in one day one from both sides and then double back to my Uncle Larry really being murdered, for lack of better words. And what that did to my family, if you know me, you know my brother and I are like this. And my mother and her brother were like this. They only 18, like 18, 19 months apart. So that really took me completely off my course. I didn't work on anything um, after his death for a while. And... You know, when I, when I say life is short, I mean it from a real place because, you know, this, I wasn't expecting for them to knock on my hotel door and for me to answer it. And for my aunt Nita to tell me, you know, she said he had been in an accident, but she didn't really get out right away that, that, you know, that he was gone. And nobody really explained to me how i'm thinking the whole time a car accident when in actuality he had a flat tire and he was walking and a car hit him and killed him so i wasn't thinking about music guys i i promise you i appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart because when i came into the game i just wanted to be me and and represent people that felt like me that been through the type of shit I have been through and understood that everything is not going to always be perfect. I've never put on period at all. I've always bared my soul and was transparent, which I catch a lot of flack for all the time, but I'm still cool with it. Cause if I don't do nothing else, I'm going to be me to the death of me. I'm going to be me. And that just took me out. So for a while I went from geared up, ready to go ready to release the music to I'm um, over it. I don't, I don't want to focus on that. I want to focus on my mama. I want to be the daughter I need to be. I want to be the sister I need to be. Um, because y'all don't know my brother, but it's a reason that he does not fool up with the industry at all. The way he moves is way different and how he felt about what happened was way different. Those are the things that I really had to try and 
take care of and and bring some kind of peace there but i was going through it and then all of that i was going home to a hotel and and i'm just that's why i'm just saying no matter what you're going through or what you've been through out there life is not meant to break you it is really meant to make you and create character within you and anybody that no longer feeds your soul or adds to and attributes good things to that then it's time to walk away and move away so i was losing people physically and at the same time believe it or not i was losing people that were right here in my face they weren't there for me people were hurting me that was supposed to be there for me i was dealing with a lot at one time so i'm telling you that don't think one red coin one of what none of this stuff around me amongst me keeps me at peace none of it holds me at night none of it dries my tears none none of it so sometimes when I tap out, I apologize, y'all, but I tap out because I'm human and I tap out because I ain't never, I ain't come in lying to y'all. I didn't come in that way. After the storm was after the storm. The makings of me was the real makings of me, me becoming a mom for the first time. And, and then realizing when I was in the middle of dropping everything to me and love all over me, I was dead smack in the center of a breakup hurting going through it i'm talking about up through there so you know i just asked for a little grace in the process because i don't want it to be mediocre mediocrity has never been my thing like there have been some times where sound wise we experiment like cold red it was such an honor to work with timberland and do some things that sounded really different and that wasn't a big album for me, but it was a big moment for me as an artist, just kind of cultivating uh, a sound that I had not tapped into before. And, you know, by the time, by the time I got to the making of this album and I thought it was going to be simple, I decided to get divorced. That scratched out the whole year 38, hence the reason it's no longer chapter 38. But these are not things that I could foresee or that I was planning. These were things that just started happening to me. You know? You say you see murder what? I didn't see your question before it left. Um, I love your fashion sense. What does that say? Fenter Haney. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, see, people spend a lot of time putting on in this forum. Listen, I would have been a much bigger star, a much wealthier woman, had I put on for you. That was a choice, a decision that I made. A lot of the stuff you haven't seen me do is not because it wasn't offered. It's because I made the choice not to. I got all the calls, but I knew what people were sacrificing to do what they were doing. I didn't want to sacrifice that. Hmm? Cindy O for life. Love you back. I mean, you'll be surprised what people give up to get to the top. You'd be real surprised. But I've been watching it all my life. And it is a choice for me to be able to do what I do with sound mind with a solid family. I move how I move. And I face a lot of criticism for it. I face so much criticism for it. It's, it's actually become comical. Um, because I'm a real human being. And to gain the world and lose your soul is just not something I'm okay with. That's a level of sacrifice I refuse to partake in. I mean, I refuse. Cindy! I wonder where she is. So for the album, I do want to... Rico Love, he just dope. Real transparent. He's going to speak it if he feel it. London, I talked to yesterday. And we finally in the same place. So um, London on the track. I know he probably hate for people to say that whole thing, but this, just so it wasn't um, weird what I was talking about, I am going to work with with him. 
Romello, what are you talking about, son? Um, I'm yeah. going to try and reach Jasmine tonight. And see if... Hey, girl, you want to say hi? <laughs> Why are you waving around the corner like that? You where? Why you say you look a mess? But you don't. Pretty don't need anything. Where your little friend? Which one? <laughs> the littlest one. She's in the shower. Oh, look at that girl. She trying to hurry up so she can get back down here. Uh, she been all in the mix, sis. No, she do me like that when I'm alive. So <laughs> I'm trying to see. So Cindy told me to get on here. Put the phone down so I can come over. <laughs> you see how aggravating she is? But then when she on live, she walking through the house. They say, why are you acting shy much as you be on live? Period. P-E-R-I-O-D. For real. Oh, my goodness. So what am I supposed to be doing on here, Cynthia? Talking. <laughs> I am talking to them. Am I still doing the radio show on Apple Music? Yes. Rated R&B, yes. So I was telling you, once I decided to push the album back, I sat down with the executives and I asked them to push everything back so I could do it all at one time so that weekly I'm giving you things um, from songs to different um, guests. I'm really curious to know who would you all like to see me speak with and, and really just interview and talk to. They say, Cindy, you be on live. I be falling asleep. Who is that? What's up, Peaches? You are so welcome. When am I coming back to New Orleans? Um, I don't know. You know, I've been very careful about everywhere that, that I go. But go I know we don't go nowhere. But that's that's what I'm saying. But this, you know, if, if there comes reason for me to um, come there, then I'll get a plane and come there. If there's a need to like handle business or something like that, I'll definitely come there. Summer Walker. Oh, I absolutely love Summer Walker. Love, love, love her. I mean, for real, for real. Another transparent person. And, and a lot of times we catch the most grief because when you lay it out there, you know, that's sometimes, I always tell my kids and, um, and Cindy, the more information people have, the more they use against you. And you have to really be self-assured and very secure in whatever you share or whatever you have going on before the world has its way with it. So, you know, it is a thing. Interview Kim K on reform. I'll ask her. I'll ask her if um, she would come on there. She's taught me a whole lot. There were so many things that I did not know before us really um, sitting down and talking about cases, well, his case, on the level that we do on a daily basis. Her commitment to doing what needs to be done for people that have lost their lives to the system is so admirable. But again, um, she has a lot that she can feel from different perspectives because she learned a lot from her father. She's learned a lot from Jessica and Aaron and she studies not just the laws, but even as they're changing, I get that knowledge from her on, on a regular basis. And she explains things to me in a different way so that I can understand it and know how to better help. Because actually Corey's goal of course, he wants to be free, but he wants to see his people be free, too. So that's something that he wants to dedicate his life to when he is free again. So, you know, just learning and taking in 
all of the knowledge that I can and trying to be a vessel in whatever way she, you know, asked me to 